Adopting Kanban for a marketing workflow is easy, since there are very few preconceptions to meet. The key onboarding point being to start with what you do now, but add process visualization and WIP limits. Simple. The basic components of a good Kanban for marketing are a well-ordered backlog of tasks, columns and rows through which work will be moved informing everyone of current state, and the addition of work in progress limits applied to most, or at least the in progress column. With these characteristics met, work items can start to flow continuously through the process stages. The board we're looking at has your typical Kanban stages, such as a backlog, scheduled work, an in progress stage, and a done column. But there are also two extra stages, alerts and monitoring. The team has set emails with various notifications to arrive into the alerts column. This way they save time on having to log into web performance monitoring services separately. Everything happens here in one system. Marketing tends to involve a lot of testing and experimentation. So every task that was a try of a new approach or a start of an A-B test is moved to the monitoring column with a due date for when to first check the test results. In addition, the team has switched on a few extra Kanban tool features for their board. A calendar with a highlight of all due dates, recurring tasks for monitoring jobs which need doing on a monthly or weekly basis. They also used postponed tasks for items planned for further down the line so that the board doesn't get cluttered. There are a number of tasks that the marketing team members perform which always need to follow the same set of steps writing copy, kicking off a new campaign, promoting new products, etc. This is sped up by the checklist templates feature. We'd like to share a few tips on how to make this system stick for both the team and the managers. If there is anything new that the team should work on, it has to be placed in the backlog. Cards are always picked up from the top, so make sure that tasks with the highest priority are at the top of the list. Ideally, you want the work status of each team to be known to all other teams so that product releases can be synchronized. This saves a lot of time and confusion. You can either make everyone use the same board with one swim lane per project and organize it so that actions of different teams happen on their portions of the work stages, or you can set one board per team and make sure all boards are accessible to all teams. In Kanban tool, you decide who can access which boards. The WIP limit will be different depending on the kind of work the team does. It's most sensible to set the limit so that people can get through the backlog items without it getting overloaded. It's easy to get a feel for what this number should be after a few initial weeks. The Kanban method underlines focus on facilitating continuous improvement. This is achievable with an online Kanban tool that not only makes the workflow available to you anywhere and at any time, but also measures the team performance for you. Data on how long different projects take to complete, which stages cause the most bottlenecks, and where you need to improve is at the click of a button. Why not give Kanban Tool a try with your agile marketing team? You're welcome to test it for free at kanbantool.com.